Welcome back to Medinair. In this video, let's continue to discuss about case history in orthodontics. In the previous two parts, we have discussed about the reason behind collecting the personal information of a patient and the purpose of collecting history. Let's continue to discuss about the examination. Now we will start examining the patient with general examination. We need to record height and weight of the patient, gait, posture and body build as a part of general examination. The height and weight of the patient should be measured and recorded. This provides a clue to the physical growth and maturation of the patient that may have dentofacial correlation. They are categorized as tall, normal and short. Moving on to gait. Gait is a manner or style of walking of a person. Gait of a person should be carefully evaluated because abnormalities of gait are usually associated with neuromuscular disorders that may have dental correlation. Now these are the possible different types of gaits that a person can have. This is important in viva perspective so kindly do note it. Scissor gait is seen in patient with cerebral palsy where they take short steps. Food drop gait is seen in patients with multiple sclerosis where they drag their toes. Ataxic gait is seen in alcoholic intoxication and in cerebellar diseases. In this type of gait, the patient has unsteady and incoordinated walk. Spastic gait. It is seen in CNS injuries and in this type of gait, the legs are held together and they move in a more stiffer manner. Next type is antalgic gait which is seen in osteoarthritis. It is a type of painful gait and the limb is adapted in order to avoid pain on weight bearing structures like hip, knee or ankle. Next we have hemiplegic gait which is seen in cerebral damage. The patient will have semicircular lateral swing of the affected leg. Festinating gait is seen in Parkinsonian disease and in this patient uses short accelerating steps to move forward. Lastly, we have four point gait. It is seen in crutch users. In this, the first leg with crutch, then the opposite leg followed by the other crutch and then the other leg is used. The next thing we need to examine is posture. Posture refers to a way a person stands or positions the limp. Abnormal posture can predispose to malocclusion due to alteration in maxillomandibular relationship. Few examples are kyphosis and scoliosis. Kyphosis refer to forward bending and scoliosis refer to lateral bending. Any abnormal postures like these such as kyphosis and scoliosis can alter the maxillomandibular relationship which in turn predisposes to a malocclusion. Any poor posture can accentuate the existing malocclusion. Stoop shoulder children with head hung or chin resting on the chest have been known for creating their own mandibular retrusion. Generally, a patient with head held up high is associated with well-developed mandible, whereas slouching posture with head held down is associated with class 2 tendency or a deficient mandible. Next, we need to assess the body build or physical status of a patient. Assessment of a physical status of the patient, like the physical buildup of human body, should begin as soon as the patient enters the clinic. Sheldon has classified the body build into three types which is ectomorphic, mesomorphic and endomorphic. Ectomorphic people have tall and thin physique, mesomorphic people have average physique and endomorphic people have short and obese physique. Body build can also be classified as aesthetic, plethoric and athletic which have orthodontic significance. Aesthetic people are tall and thin in nature and they are known to have narrow dental arches. Plethoric people are short and obese and they are known to have large and square dental arches. Athletic people are normally built and they have normal sized dental arches. And that brings us to the end of the video. This is about the general examination of a patient. In next video, we will see about the functional examination that we will do in orthodontics. I hope you guys found it helpful. Do like this video and subscribe to Medinair for more. Thanks for watching.